right, Coach Luke said, look, there's not a lot of games you can come in and win and get instant respect. We're talking about respect, man. Not a lot of people respect us right now. Not a lot of people respect us right now, but I'm looking to change it tonight. We bet. We took a little break from y'all, but we bet. We ready to play. We're going to come with you. Yes, sir. Coming into Jordan-Hare Stadium, the Rebels would face off with the number 11 ranked team in the country, a ranking mostly derived from a brutal defense anchored by more than one potential first round pick. Toss pitch right, that's Ely. Ely gets a block, but he's hit hard and stopped shy of the first down on the far sideline. Fake on the handoff, quick pass downfield, bobble momentarily, but Connor scoops it in, Snoop Connor, and he'll be hit and knocked off his feet at the 40 and has the first down. Here's Snoop Connor on the handoff. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe, and that's about it. Hey, always know that outside is where it's at. Yeah. It's a guessing game right. inside. While the Tiger defenders kept the red and blue off the scoreboard, Bo Nix and the Auburn offense found points hard to come by. Here's the kick. It's on its way, and it is going to be no good. He pushed it to the left. So another field goal effort. This will be from the 39, a 49-yard effort. There's the kick, and he's got distance. And this one he's going to push to the right. So two missed field goals. Let's go. Let's go. Nix drops the ball, and Ole Miss has it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah. When they weren't being their own worst enemy, the Tigers found the Land Shark defense to be a formidable foe. Debug on three, debug on three, one, two, three. Go, 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 go. They set up a screen. Ole Miss is there. DJ Williams dropped immediately. Makes a handoff, keeps it, and runs right, and he gets to the goal line. Fumble! It's on the ground, and Auburn recovers it at the three. The goal line stand forced Auburn to settle for three points against the stingy Rebel defensive front. However, with the half on the horizon, both teams eyed one last good look at the end zone. Stacked up at the line of scrimmage is still trying to pull him in the end zone and literally tackles him into the end zone for a touchdown. Elijah Moore is going to take it to the 23 and going to return it. He's got some room. He's to the 40. He's heads to the far sideline. He's got a wall of blockers. He's got a chance to get a big one. Sidesteps a man still on his feet and dropped at the 24-yard line. First and goal for Ole Miss trying to get on the board in the final minute of the half. What? What? what we're going to score right here. I'm telling you, watch. Watch it. Watch it. No, you know, don't watch me. Watch that. Now right back to the line of scrimmage. And Plumlee's going to fake it, keep it. He's running to the near corner. He's got it. Touchdown, Ole Miss. What I tell you? What I tell you? Touchdown. Touchdown. I got it. I got it, baby. Touchdown. The home team received the ball to start the second half giving them an opportunity to pick up right where they left off in the first. Position at the 46, handoff off the left side across midfield in Rebel territory to the 49 or 48-yard line is D.J. Williams. Snap it right up the gut to the 40-yard line for a first down is D.J. Williams. D.J. Williams running over would-be tacklers, and he's very close to another first down. Featured back D.J. Williams carried it early and often, setting up a keeper for Knicks. And a fake on the handoff. Nix runs right, gets in the end zone. Easy touchdown for Auburn. And another three points on their subsequent drive. That's on us. Let's go. Let's go. We got to bow our neck, though. Let's go. We got to bow our neck. Down 13 points on the road is no one's comfort zone. But that doesn't mean the Rebels were uncomfortable playing from behind. Rebels will start at the 25. Plumlee's in the game, he's going to fake the pass, take off and run, right up the gut, gets across the 30, hand off to Ely off the right side. He's got the first down across the 35, still churning those feet, getting a little push from the offensive line, gets close to the 40-yard line. And that's going to be a fake on a handoff, and Plumlee goes right up the gut, and he'll get in to Auburn territory across the 50, across the 45, and drop there. There are many ways to measure a team. When it comes to pure grit, the Rebels stack up with anyone. Plumlee to throw, got a man wide open down the far sidelines, caught at midfield and pushed out of bounds. And that is going to be Snoop Connor, a little wheel route action. Oh, sir. Snoopy. Snoop. 
Plumley pulls it down, runs for the first down and more inside the 35. Very quick, very explosive. Speaking of explosive, Snoop Connor ripped through the hole for about eight. And here's the biggest play of the game for Ole Miss tonight on offense. A yard and a half to go. Awkward exchange, but Ely with his speed nearly got into the end zone. He got the first down. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it right here, let's go. First and goal from the one. From the one, first and goal, there's the snap. Handoff, right side, driving into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss, it's Scoot Connor for the score. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, that's 90 yards right down the throw. You guys got that? Hey, let's get it back and let's go do it again. That's all we got to do. Let's go. One touchdown's all we need. Auburn's been grinding them with the ground game here in the second half. Bo Nix fakes the handoff, took off running, and ducked down after a two yard gain. And there's the snap. Fake on a handoff. Swings it near side on the screen. Got his man, Seth Williams. He's up to the 37, the 38 yard line, and tackled there. Come on, D, let's go. From the 36, second and eight, and that's going to be Bo Nix around the left hand side. Not much there. Lakia Henry is going to make the third tackle. Third final timeout of the half, Old Miss. And Old Miss with a timeout, and Auburn has third down and four, and this is your old ball game. One Lakia, play, let's go, go baby. Let's go. let's go right here. Let's go. Right here, let's go, guys. Right here. One play. Let's, let's go. go. Let's get it. Third down and four. Auburn's 12 of 20 on third downs. They've got the ball at the Ole Miss 32 yard line. There's the snap. Nix is going to hand it off to DJ Williams. He goes straight ahead and is stacked up. Looks like around the 30. He doesn't have enough. Interesting here. We'll see if they're going to roll out. Yeah, they're going to roll out the kicking team, David. Andrews Carlson's going out. Interesting. This, to put it away, you would have to think for Auburn. Anders Carlson off the right upright. And Hope is very much alive on that Ole Miss sideline. 1.14 to go, down by six. They take over at their own 31. Four-man rush. John Rice Plumley on target. All of a sudden, he's Johnny Unitas. <laughs> Braylon Sanders the catch. Two yards short of the first down. Yeah, they got to hustle up here. 56 seconds to play. There's the snap. Plumley wants to throw. Quarterback run. He's going to go right up the middle. He's to midfield. Needs a block. Gets to the sidelines. Hit and tackle at the 41-yard line. <laughs> Plumley and the Rebs moved deep into Auburn territory. But the clock and the down and distance were not on their side. Fourth and three from the 35. Here's the ball game of the Rebels. Trips to the right. There's the snap. Plumley wants to throw. In trouble in the backfield. He's going to run out to the left. Looking downfield. And he's in trouble. And he's going to throw it. Just flips it up for grabs. And it's going to be intercepted by Auburn at the 30. And that's going to be the game. 20 to 14. Auburn is going to win this one. Listen to me. Showed a lot of heart and guts tonight. I'm proud as hell to be your football coach. You understand me? We're in this thing together. We've got three games left, and they're all in Mississippi. You understand me? Hey, let's go back. We're going back to work, and we're going to get better. A lot of people outside the locker room, you know, give up on us, but we, we believe we got something special coming up in Ole Miss, and that's what we come out every week and just play the hardest we can. But we just missed a, had a lot of missed opportunities on the offensive side, and we still are in right there at the end with – considerably one of the, the best teams in the country right now and so I think it really just shows you um, how good this team can be. Playing hard and, and uh, executing got to go hand in hand. I got to do a better job getting us some chances to score so really disappointed. Those kids are battling. I'm really proud of how they battle. A bunch of young guys but you know we got to work to get over the hump. Overall I thought they the kids just fought and fought and fought and competed and competed and competed and uh, you know, gave us some chances to win the game, but we didn't get it done. We got to find a way to get it done. Being in that situation, you know that right there at the end, and it sucks because you don't. You come up short, and uh, kind of feels like it's reoccurring. You know, kind of coming up short right there at the end. It was disappointing not to come here and win, and you had opportunities to win the football game. And uh, I'm proud of the way they fought, and uh, we're going to stick together, control the things that we can control, and go get better next week.